In the early 20th century, the quiet town of Almora, nestled in the scenic foothills of the Himalayas in northern India, was gripped by fear as a rogue bear terrorized the local population. Known as the Bear of Almora, this animal was responsible for a series of brutal attacks that left several people dead and many others injured. The relentless assaults by this unusually aggressive bear made it one of the most infamous man-eaters in Indian history. This narrative explores the events surrounding the Bear of Almora, the community struggle for safety, and the eventual hunt that ended the reign of this fearsome predator. Almora, located in the state of Uttarakhand, is a picturesque hill station known for its natural beauty and serene environment. In the early 1900s, it was a small, peaceful town surrounded by dense forests, home to a variety of wildlife, including leopards, tigers, and bears. While encounters with these animals were not uncommon, attacks on humans were rare, making the sudden emergence of a man-eating bear all the more terrifying. Tabir of Almara was a sloth bear, Malursus ursanus, a species known for its distinctive shaggy coat, long claws, and habit of feeding on insects and fruits. While sloth bears are generally shy and avoid human contact, they can become extremely dangerous when threatened or injured. The attacks began around 1915, catching the community off guard and instilling a deep sense of fear in the region. The first recorded attack occurred in the village of Chona near Almora, where the bear mauled a young man gathering firewood. The victim survived, but was left with severe injuries to his face and body. Over the next few months, the bear struck again and again, attacking villagers working in fields or walking along forest paths. These attacks were brutal and often occurred without warning, leaving little chance for escape. What made the bear of Almora particularly terrifying was its apparent preference for targeting the head and face, a characteristic behavior of sloth bears when they feel threatened. Survivors of these attacks were left disfigured, and many lost their eyesight or suffered other permanent disabilities. As the number of victims grew, so did the fear and anxiety in the community. News of the attacks quickly spread beyond Almora, causing panic in neighboring villages and towns. People were afraid to venture into the forests or even to leave their homes after dusk. The local authorities, alarmed by the growing number of casualties, issued warnings and urged people to remain vigilant. Despite these precautions, the bear continued its attacks, seemingly unperturbed by the increased human presence in the area. The unpredictability of the bear's movements made it difficult to track. It would strike in one area, only to disappear and reappear miles away, attacking in a completely different location. This erratic behavior frustrated attempts to capture or kill the animal, and many began to believe that the bear was more than just a rogue animal, that it was possessed or driven by some malevolent force. As the death toll rose, the government decided to take action. Experienced hunters and shikaris, local hunters skilled in tracking and hunting wildlife, were called in to deal with the bear. Among them was Jim Corbett, the famous hunter and conservationist, who later recounted his experiences with the Bear of Almora in his writings. Corbett, known for his expertise in tracking and hunting man-eaters, took on the challenge of finding and killing the bear. He meticulously studied the bear's patterns and consulted with villagers who had encountered it. However, the bear's elusive nature and the rugged terrain of the region made the hunt extremely challenging. On several occasions, Corbett came close to encountering the bear but was thwarted by its uncanny ability to vanish into the dense undergrowth. After months of fruitless searching and several near misses, Corbett finally tracked the bear to a forested area near the village of Dabidira. On a crisp morning in late 1916, Corbett and his team set up an ambush near a watering hole where the bear was known to frequent. Armed with a high-powered rifle, Corbett waited patiently, his senses alert to any movement in the shadows. Hours passed, and just as the team was beginning to lose hope, the bear appeared. It moved cautiously, sniffing the air, as if aware of the danger. 
with nerves of steel, Corbett took aim and fired a single, well-placed shot that brought the bear down. The reign of terror that had plagued Almora for nearly two years was finally over. The bear, upon inspection, was found to be old and suffering from severe dental issues, which may have contributed to its aggressive behavior. Unable to feed on its usual diet, it had likely turned to attacking humans out of desperation. This explanation, while offering some understanding of the bear's behavior, did little to erase the trauma it had inflicted on the community. The end of the Bear of Almora brought relief to the people of the region, but the scars left by its attacks, both physical and psychological, endured for many years. The story of the bear became part of local folklore, a cautionary tale about the dangers that lurk in the wilderness and the unpredictable nature of wild animals. The incident also highlighted the complex relationship between humans and wildlife in India. As human settlements expanded into traditional animal habitats, encounters with potentially dangerous animals became more frequent, often with tragic results. The story of the Bear of Almora serves as a reminder of the delicate balance that must be maintained between protecting human communities and preserving wildlife. Jim Corbett's encounter with the Bear of Almora further cemented his reputation as a skilled hunter and later as a pioneering conservationist. His writings about the hunt offer a rare glimpse into the challenges and dangers of tracking a man-eating animal in the dense forests of northern India, and his experiences continue to be studied and admired by wildlife enthusiasts and historians alike. The tale of the Bear of Almora is a haunting reminder of the unpredictability of nature and the courage required to face its dangers. The bear's rampage left a lasting mark on the community, and its story has been passed down through generations as a symbol of both the terror and resilience of those who lived through it. As we reflect on this story, we are reminded of the need for respect and caution when navigating the shared spaces between humans and wildlife, and of the importance of preserving the natural world that, while sometimes fearsome, is also a vital part of our heritage.